Anna, it's 637. If you've ever taken a swim in Lake Michigan, we have some startling information about a type of tsunami that can happen in our Great Lakes and cause deadly waves. This morning, our Julia Fellow has this important lesson for all of us. Forget the movie idea of what a seismic tsunami looks like in the ocean from earthquakes. Scientists tell me so-called meteor tsunamis develop after large storms like this one in 2018. It caught their attention when huge waves in Lake Michigan hit Ludington, Michigan. Here's an animation that shows the exact moment that meteor tsunami is going to hit and it can last for hours. It's going to kind of pinball around the inside of the lake. So the first shore impacts will probably be the most intense. The wave will be greatest, but then it'll reflect off that shore and kind of move around. It's kind of um, like a bucket of water that's slopped. Exactly. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration scientist Eric Anderson is researching in Ann Arbor, Michigan, how meteor tsunamis can intensify rip currents. This is what Lake Michigan waves normally look like. And this is what rare meteor tsunamis look like. Just a few dozen happen every year. Maybe every five years that we get a big one that, uh, you know, can cause damage or even could cause uh, injury or fatalities. He says most people are caught off guard because the phenomenon happens long after a storm is gone and the sun is out. He shares one way to tell if it's going to happen. If you start to notice the water really rapidly rising and pushing into the beach, it's a good time to get out of the water and uh, you know, take several minutes off and kind of assess what's going on. Eric says NOAA is getting so good at predicting when a meteor tsunami could happen, an alert system to warn swimmers could roll out in the next few years. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. And NOAA says the higher lake levels do not have an effect on those meteor tsunamis.